Okay, Ajmal B is not correct. Huh? So I want to just check in with you. Um, okay, so I want to check in for you for, for part B. So there are a few ways students will solve part B. Okay, the first method, what students will do is to identify that since Maggie is dollar M, Alice is 2M, and Cecilia is dollar 2M minus 55, right? So what people do for part B is they, they solve individually. So M would be 35, 2M would be 70, and Cecilia would be 15. So can I share a few Ajmal? Is that what you did? Okay, then there must be a careless mistake, right? How can you, you, thought, you forgot to add this one, is it? All right, yeah. Okay, now there is another, okay, Chloe and Lokesh. Can I also check if this is what you did? You went to calculate individually before you add them up. Uh, Lokesh, is that what you did too? Okay, then I know what Lokesh did. Lokesh, you added them up as algebra first before solving. Is that what you did? So how do you solve it? Because one M is 35. And then yeah. after that, there's two, three, four, and there's five M. Yeah. There's 35 times five minus five. Okay, good. So what? Okay, so for Chloe and Ajmal, if you heard what Lukash said, how Lukash solved it is actually the second method. Okay, what's the second method? Which is to add everything up to find out that this is actually 5M minus 55. And then you just take 35 times 5 minus 55. Okay, so Chloe and Ajmal, can you understand Lukash's method? Uh, teacher, yeah. is it a must for you to put the, cap the brackets? Because aren't you supposed to times first? I mean. Yeah, so you don't, you don't, yes, you don't have to put the yeah. brackets, okay? Chloe, do you understand what Ajmal did here? Okay, now, I want to just explain to you what I prefer, okay? Method two is the safer method because you reduce the chances of any careless mistake. Because let's say if the algebra here, right, it's a bit more complicated, there's a chance that you make a careless mistake here or here or here. Okay, but, but once you're able to add them up accurately, then you're just converting it once. Okay, so just know that sometimes you can also solve algebra question by adding up the algebra first, then solving it. Okay, good. Now I want to move on to question two. Okay, so Chloe and Lokesh and Ashma, I'm waiting for an answer from, from you guys before I start explaining this. 